I also believe there's a difference in, in fear and being scared. Uh, I actually think fear keeps us sharp. Uh, being scared is what paralyzes us. Uh, so I do my best not to ever let fear creep over into just being scared and paralyzed, but knowing that that fear is healthy. I hate it when sometimes the fear gets in the way. I hate that feeling of fear. I hate being afraid. If I feel frightened of it, I have to attack it. I have to go in. Because I'm terrified that it will creep into other areas of my life and just start to take over. You cannot get rid of those nerves or the fear. You can't get rid of them. And they appear for a reason. Because maybe you need to do more work. Maybe you're not ready. Yeah. That fear drives you. You said without that fear, you would not be here today. You know, if, if right now, if, if in your beautiful backyard, if, if I were to set up a tightrope uh, from this gazebo to your house and ask you to walk across it, the fear is what's gonna keep you on the tightrope because that's what's gonna keep you dialed in and focused. If you weren't afraid of falling and you just went willy-nilly across that tightrope, you'd fall off and probably to your demise. Uh, but the fear is what keeps you dialed in and keeps you sharp. And even now with speaking engagements, uh, I don't use the word fear, but I get a very healthy excitement. I still get the butterflies before every speaking engagement and I'm really prepared for those. This isn't a fear of they're not gonna like me or fear of I'm not prepared. It's a, it's, I wanna do the best I can to serve these people and I want this to hit the mark and I still get those butterflies. So uh, I try to find ways to use these fears and insecurities, which I'm riddled with just like everyone else and, and have the awareness to know how can I use those to still move forward. If you get people to voluntarily confront what makes them afraid and what makes them want to avoid, then they get better. They don't get less afraid. They get braver. They discover there's a lot more to them than they thought. You cannot let your fear hold you back from your destiny. You have to feel the fear and do it anyway. Do it broke, do it scared, do it nervous, do it trembling, do it on your knees, do it with help, do it on crutches, do it in a wheelchair because you don't want to end up in a nursing home sitting on a bedpan wondering what would have happened if you'd only had more courage. You don't want to end up in an old folks home and your dying thought is, I wish I had a. Experience is what helps us get over those things. And the only way you get experience is by cutting through the fear and actually giving these things a try. And know that all this stuff that you and I talk about, that one of the, the things I, I mention all the time is, there's a difference between basic and easy. Uh, most of the things that we tell folks are very basic in principle, but they're not easy to do.